Maintaining the security of our cyberspace is crucial to Air Force. It is the core of intelligence and mission planning and how Air Force maintains a real-time operational picture with Navy, Army and our coalition partners. Air Force's latest platforms such as the F-35A Joint Strike Fighter, P-8A Poseidon and E-7A Wedgetail are in essence airborne supercomputers which can quickly process huge amounts of data and give our people in the air and on the ground a big advantage. But having Air Force platforms as network nodes also presents a potential vulnerability. Cyberspace is a highly contested domain in peace and in war. Yeah, and threats have ranged from a variety of uh, sources, from sophisticated state actors, issue motivated groups, individuals, and they're right now testing our defences and we have to harden our networks to protect against them. Things such as banking, basic facilities like power and water, as well as you know, lifestyle, communications, they all hinge on cyberspace. If Australia becomes victim to cyber attack, we will lose those very things that we appreciate and live for. If an adversary were to compromise a network, they could disable capabilities, steal classified data, or quietly preserve their access for use in future. Air Force has access to both defensive and offensive cyber capabilities. 462 Squadron has been established as a defensive cyber warfare unit. Air Force is also working with Navy and Army to build joint cyber capabilities, including the Defence Cyber College, to make sure our people have cutting-edge skills. Our people are critical. They're the most important asset in maintaining a good cyber capability. We have to recruit and retain the right people, you know, people who can get complex problems, lots of information, solve it, implement solutions, and then adapt as they execute those solutions. Partnerships are an important part of strengthening Air Force current and future cyber capabilities. Relationships are critical. We can't do this by ourselves. Whether it be with our joint colleagues, uh, Australian Signals Directorate or international partners, getting those relationships right are key to maintaining a, a safe cyber position. As the backbone of military capability, cyber operations will continue to be a priority for Air Force in its second century. Air Force has come a long way in the last hundred years and everything, the world is going to change even more in the next hundred years. So being in a position right now where we can start influencing how we go down that path gives us a great opportunity which I'm really excited to be part of.